John. Uh, we're going to get into this uh, subject about us needing to know who our enemies are as a nation because a lot of people still feel like they have to try to save these other nations even though Christ said that he only came for Yasharala. So I want to start off with uh, Matthew 15, 24, I think it is. Because the Most High, he tells us to separate from our enemies, but they don't read these scriptures to you in the Christian church because they want to be grafted in, they want to be spiritual Israel, even though we've never seen that in scripture. Come on, come on. Read that. It's Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Come, and this is Christ himself, Yahweh Mashiach in the Hebrew. He says, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You know what I'm saying? And, and real quick, I want to get this because a lot of people, they, they try to get this, they try to misinterpret and go around and make up, make the scripture try to fit to what they want it to fit to. So I want to get John 3.16 real quick. Yeah, because this is, this is a very basic scripture that a lot of people want to go to, but they don't understand. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever Believe it in him, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Let's say, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him might not perish, but have everlasting life. Um, and we're going to get who this whosoever means. And you know, um, the word world, as we know, can also mean a nation or group of people. Uh, so we want to get um, Isaiah 45, 17. Isaiah 45, verse 17. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. John, world without end. John 3 16 said that. He gave his, um, he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. But the precept, which we know you have to do precept upon precept to bring out the understanding. That that world he was talking about, according to Isaiah 45, verse 17, is the world of Israel, the world of Yasharal. John, you got a precept. This is the book of John, chapter 17, verse 9. It says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. John says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. But them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. John, and the Most High has given us to Christ. Because he came to save us. And this, a little side point I want to bring out right quick. Because we are called saints of Yahweh, which is correct because like that scripture just said, the Most High gave us to Yahweh so we are in fact His saints as well. But we we just trying to uh, show people show people who the enemies are. You know what I'm saying? I want to get Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47 and 48, so we can find out who our enemies are. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Those, those are going to precept up. 28, uh, 47 and 48. <laughs> all right, guys. It's, it's all good. You say what verse? This is Deuteronomy chapter 20, 28, verse 47 and 48. Because thou serve not the Lord thou God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Con, because we didn't serve the Most High after all the blessings that he gave us and we were not joyful and glad 
to be the chosen people of the Most High that He chose. For the abundance of all things, for the abundance of all things, because it tells you in the Bible that the Most High made the world for our sakes. So we had everything. This whole planet belongs to us. Whether people believe it or not, just because things look like they are going against us, this world was still made for our sakes. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. Because you didn't serve the Most High with joyfulness and gladness apart for the abundance of all things that he gave us, therefore he makes us to serve our enemies. Which the Lord shall send against thee, which the Most High sent against us because we did not hearken unto his voice, not because Esau or the white man is this big powerful people, it's because the Most High sent them against us. In hunger and in thirst. In hunger and in thirst, you have to go to Esau for food. You have to go to the other nations for water. And in nakedness. And for your clothing, you have to go to the other nations. And in want of all things. Anything you want. You have to go to the other nations. You have to go to the East Indians. You have to go to Moab, which is the Chinese. You have to go to the Arabs, all these other nations, because we did not serve the Most High. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he would put a yoke of iron upon our neck, which he did so in slavery. He put, he did in fact put a yoke of iron upon our necks. Or even those that that one. Nah, nah, I think he got it. He got it though. Got it. Got it. This one on the other side. I think it's that one over there. No, we the Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. The Hebrew, the Hebrew Israelites. And so are y'all. Huh? I said so are y'all. Okay. <laughs> we got chosen people. I said either they the three wise men or. Okay. Nah, we just teaching all people the truth according to the Bible about who we are. Who our enemy are, who our enemy is. What church y'all attend? Excuse me? What church do y'all attend? Do y'all attend the church? Uh, according to the Bible, we are the church. We are the church. I, <laughs> I was just saying. Kind of, no, we don't have a physical building right now. That's what I mean. Right. I know we are. <laughs> we are physical building. I, I, I know the words. Like, yeah, all right. <laughs> Precept system. Huh? Can I get a scripture? A scripture? Nine. No, not that one, sis. No, right here. <laughs> this is First Corinthians chapter four, verse um, let's lock it. nine. For we are laborers together. First Corinthians three and nine. For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. Uh. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay. All right, right sister. <laughs> But yes, yeah, sister, we we the, we, the, we the people of the Bible that, that that Christ spoke about. The same people as Christ. Same Christ. The Scripture says everything that Christ went through, we was gonna go through. Exactly. The Scripture said Christ was hung on the tree. Yeah. That happened to. Hung on the tree. That's right, sister. Yeah, we hard too, just like. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right, sister. Yeah. 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 Bring it on, sister. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah.